This was a super heavyweight tag team contest of 20 minutes duration. There will be no rounds. There will be a 45 second interval after each fall and the time will be called every five minutes. With two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide the winners. Between on my right and in the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, Obviously not too happy. Oh, a little re rehearsing here and I did body checks. That's what they hope to deliver on their opponents sometime during this bout. And I bet they'll try it pretty early on too. So it's uh, the big boys, Shirley Crabtree of Halifax at 24 and a half stone. Giant Haystacks of uh, Salford, Lancashire at 31 stone. And the opponents, there they are. The comparatively small 15 stoners Steve Beter and Tibor Zakash, Tibor in the dark tracks. So 20 minutes tag team time, grapple fans, two falls, two submissions, zero knockouts to the side as well. to start this 20 minutes and Max Ward the referee is, is going to have a job on his hands here today as Tibor Zakash takes on Big Daddy Crabtree quite illegal and Steve Beater already getting in the ring to complain about that Five star nearly. And Zakash mouth and neck. Will Zakash and Rido be allowed to wrestle at all here? That's the question. And Zakash goes out and not too well as he gets his knee on the uh, chair at the side there. Helped back by his partner Steve Vito. As far as I know, this is the first time that Steve Beter and Tibor Zakash have uh, been partners in a tag cut team. I may be wrong there. Certainly on television is the first time. And finally, Tibor, a little unhappy about things at the moment, tags Vito and Vito comes in against this big man. The flyer? No, but the head the flying butt doesn't do any harm to Big Daddy, but quite a lot of harm to Vito's head. Again, the 
put when his man is down, not part of the same move, and getting definitely reprimanded. But, and it's Haystacks coming in on Vito behind him there. This could be out of hand in the very early stages, this one. That's held deep. And nicely, caught him off balance that time. And Big Daddy not happy at all. Nice drop kick, but his man was down. The referee allows it. And it's Vito now returning the compliment. And a lovely drop kick there by Vito on Haystacks who come in. In comes Zakash. But not before Big Daddy has landed a couple of fists on Vito. Uh, right in front of the referee, so that might have looked like uh, a clenched fist to you, home. It certainly did to me here on the, the monitor. But actually, it couldn't have been. In comes Haystack for the first time, officially, anyway. Max Ward in trouble as Haystack goes for Zakash. is really developing into a fight already hardly any wrestling except for a couple of beautiful drop kicks by Vito but uh, Big Daddy back against Zakash just using his weight all the time here so that might have looked like uh, a close fist to you, home. It certainly did to me here on the, the monitor. But actually, it couldn't have been. In comes Haystack for the first time, officially, anyway. Max Ward in trouble as Haystack goes for Zakash. is really developing into a fight already hardly any wrestling except for a couple of beautiful drop kicks by Vito but uh, Big Daddy back against Zakash just using his weight all the time here the crutch hold to Big Daddy, the first bit of wrestling that he's needed to try, the slam, and a full body down on top of it. And gets an easy cross press with that weight, why shouldn't he? Savita and Zakash being the lighter men. Can they do anything against these two giants? They're down four and a half minutes. They're down one four. But there's 15 minutes to go yet, approximately, and Zakash and Big Daddy have to continue, of course. Everybody here in this packed Fairfield Hall of Croydon can't wait for Zakash and Vido to be allowed to use a little of their wrestling skill, of which they have plenty. Vido in, and he starts coming outside the ropes, leaving his tag rope. special, the backhanded shot to the throat, and not happy about that. Uppercut following, another one. And Vito goes in now to see if he can continue the good work. The 
coasting. Ooh, the ring moves right across the floor there. And the control of the crowd thinks that that is case has comes in illegally and Vita sees him. It's a forearm smash to the throat for his uh, pains. But Big Daddy now up and using his weight again. Timing those charges. But no, 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 no. Well, Haystacks has been tagged, so Big Daddy must get up. What an enormous guy this is. 31 stone, 6 foot 11. Just exactly a foot taller than I am. I was trying to talk to him in the dressing room. Nicely held there by uh, Haystack Stone. Can he slam him? He can. Oh, yes. Nicely sidestepped. But still the big man leading Peter and Zakas by one and all. This could be the equalizer as we hold him. He is holding. Equalizer to Vida and Zakas. Mike Judd to try and announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, our final minute and equalizing force is Vida Zakas and Vida. Well, there's the popularity of that equalizer. Normally, when you talk about Vida and Zakas, of course, you talk about the big men. But in this case, of course, they look like midgets by comparison. So the final session with approximately 12 minutes or a little less to go in this tag contest. One fall each now. And Haystacks not wanting to come forward at all against Vido. And Haystacks trying to persuade Big Daddy to go in. Who is persuaded? He's getting counted though. Haystack back. Luke McMasters, his uh, real name, giant Haystacks known in the wrestling business. Look at Vito there, big man, great physique, 15 stone one of him. Doesn't he look small by comparison to this giant? A distant moves rather, like the drop kick, nicely avoided. The back. <laughs> and another from outside the ring. Zakash playing their game, and you can hardly blame him. The referee warns them. <laughs> the daddy told to get out. Hay starts doing all right at the moment anyway. Double, double body check by both men. Vito, a sandwich there. And he's in trouble from that. A dolly could get out for the time, but the referee talking in the other corner hasn't even spotted it. So Haystacks goes down with a cross press, and Vito's got no chance. So it's the win for the big man. 